This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Viney versus McKellip. You all have been together 10 years, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You have a three-year-old son? Yes, Your Honor. And you have opened this case because your gut tells you that your boyfriend of 10 years is cheating. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. I'm here today to find out if my boyfriend of 10 years has been cheating on me since the birth of our son. Oh. I have evidence and reasons to suspect that he is cheating again. So you are having those same feelings? Are you seeing those same signs again now? Yes. Tell me what that feels like, to feel that you're going through this again. Like a nightmare. And it hurts. It keeps me up at night. It forces me into investigations that I don't want to be doing. I have a child with this man. I deserve better. What I'm looking at is a woman torn up. She is hurting. So what are you here to prove when I'm looking at this? I'm here to prove to Alicia and everyone that I am not cheating okay. since our son has been born. So you have a three-year-old and... son, but the past three years you have not cheated. Correct. Clearly, allegations of cheating hurt you deeply. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, so when it happened in the past, what made you take him back? He's the love of my life, Your Honor. Seven years old, since I was a little girl, the first time I saw him, I knew I was going to be with him forever. You saw, saw him, him when you were seven years old? Seven years old. His dad started driving truck for my dad's company. He showed up on a Saturday to help his dad wash the truck to get it ready for the Monday. And I was on my trampoline with my girlfriend, and I just told my girlfriend, girl, that was it. <laughs> All right, so when did you make these feelings known to him? He's always known. Okay, okay, so you... Did she tell you or... How, when did you find out she, she thought she was the around club? quite a bit when we were young. <laughs> so when but did it move from being child's play to adult play? Years and years down the road. Definitely. So what is it about him that you love? Give me some details. I'm so attracted to him physically, sexually. So there is maybe no spark for him, but my spark's always lit for him. <laughs> All right. All right. You gotta have spark. You gotta have a little gotta sparkle. Have spark. And you little gotta keep spark. the spark going. You gotta keep it going. <laughs> yeah. You got so to do that. The spark's still going, right? For you? Yeah. I don't even know how you asked me that. <laughs> All right. Why you ask me that? I'm you just, know? I'm, I'm gonna make sure the spark's still going. You know. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so, Mr. McKellar, what was your initial spark for her? There's definitely been an attraction our whole lives. I mean, I see the tears in your eyes. What are, what is that? What's fueling your emotional response right here today? She has said a lot of hurtful things to me, in which has put this wall up to where, you know, I... It's tough to let that wall down. What... What has kept you in the game if you feel like you have this insurmountable wall? Her and I, we definitely... When we're on the good, I mean, there's... There's nothing getting in between. Nothing. So, I just want to get this clear today. I want to get this straight. But you feel like her concerns about infidelity in the past is keeping your relationship from moving forward, that she just can't get past this. Yes. What exactly happened in the past? Your Honor, he was doing extra side work as a plumber. Uh, I... I didn't really give it much thought as to, you know, where he was going or who he was doing the extra work for until I was at a friend's house one night and I saw a picture, a photograph of this beautiful woman with big boobs and gorgeous. And I said, where did, who's this and where did you get this picture? He said, my friend. I said, well, who is she? He said, Alicia, that's who he's been doing side work for. Whoa. I said, what? That's when I found out that he was cheating on me with her. So you thought he was going and doing plumbing work. And that's where he was spending all of his time because he was gone all the time. And he was actually doing some other kind of plumbing work. That's exactly right, yes. <laughs> wow. And that happened two times. Same group, same woman. I so... found out about it and he said he would stop. Of course, I made him quit. 
And then I went away for two weeks and I came home and we were walking to get in the car and his phone is just buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. I knew, so I took it out of his pocket. I said, hello, and it was her again. The same woman. Same woman. So I took the phone call back into my friend's house to the bathroom where I spoke to her and she continued to tell me that she loved him and she was hurt and she didn't know that he was back with me. She was going to take him to Florida to meet her family. And I said, you, him? Like, she picked me up later on, took me out for a drink where I learned that she was five months pregnant with another man's baby. Okay, wait a minute. You're saying you went out with this other woman she for a drink? She up. She wanted to talk to me. I said, okay. Yeah. And that's not all I know <laughs> about her. What else did you find? She's a porn star. <laughs> the woman... A porn star that picked my man to do her plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when the trust went downhill. That... Yeah. Th there's a lot I could say about that. It was yeah. a big help. Uh, uh, it was and, a big help. And don't... Don't, Don't say it, but yeah, you and I both are going, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, Mr. McKellar, how did that happen? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> yeah. Cause... I initially, yes, it was. I was there to do work on her home. And then, well, then the plumbing uh... took a turn. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Tell me I... exactly what happened. How does that? How does that happen? Well, like she said, she's a porn star, <clears throat> so. I'm like, yeah, and so I'm like, I don't have any money to pay for this job. How did that play out? How, wait, what did you? <laughs> I've is, heard... there, is there a pass I don't know about? Yeah, no, no, it's no pass. You, it, it's not that. But you know, you hear, you see those commercials where they they play that out, and it's it's an allusion to okay that. All right, I'm just checking. All right. I mean, look, we're not trying to make light of this, believe me, but sometimes you just have to kind of laugh Honor, at the pain a little bit. This happened to me. This All right. really happened. Yeah. This happened to me. I have to live with this for the rest of my life. So, Mr. McKellar, was this a long-time affair? Mm, not... It wasn't I, over a year or nothing. It was, you know, months. More than six months? Probably so, yes. So, after this happened, were you remorseful? The bottom line is, is it's... I had a choice between the two, definitely. I could have had that life or I could have had life with her and I chose her. So you go through all of this and I got to admit, it takes it to another level. It's one thing, it's just another woman, but... Yes, Your Honor. A porn star is like... That's like a woman's nightmare right there. So when you said that, but you still took him back and now we're here today. All right. Tell me why you believe he's cheating now. I went through his phone recently, a couple months ago, uh, earlier in the spring, and I was seeing this phone number coming up. See, I know what time he leaves for work, and as soon as he go and get in his work van and start driving off to work, he was there were phone calls, one right after another, the same number, and lunchtime, before, on his way home from work, he was calling this number. So I started calling this number with no answer, and then, lo and behold, I get a phone call, and it's from that number, and it's this girl telling me that I, my relationship is over. He hates my guts. Well, um... He doesn't well, want to well, be with me anymore. And how did this I initial, to move how out did this initial house. Oh, happen? She told me to move out of my house. She knew personal things about me that I would never have told another person. He was telling her my own personal business. Hurtful things that she said he said that broke my heart. All right. I noticed in your court papers that you submitted to uh, the court, there were text messages that you received from this woman. Yes, Your Honor. And one reads, he doesn't want to work it out. I'm sorry, I don't know how to be any more blunt. If I wanted your man, I would already have him. Who knows? Maybe I already did. And those are some of the nicer things she said. Wow. Okay, tell me about this woman. What, well, let me ask I... you this. Let me ask you this. One, were you receiving multiple calls from this lady? Yes, I was talking to this lady. All right. Were you telling this woman your girlfriend's personal business? Um, there was probably a few things, but not everything that she's okay. claiming. Then what was the nature of your relationship with this woman? 
I guess pretty much I need someone to talk to. Alicia and I cannot hardly even talk to each other anymore, or it's just hard. She's, she's you know, have said a lot of hurtful things to me. Because I pretty much thought there was a time where, you know, I left for about five weeks. Um, Were you physically involved with this one? I was not. So there was no sexual contact or mm. sexual activity with her? Good. Correct. Your Honor, I believe part of that, but I believe it was well on its way. But for your call, that thing would have gone forward. Oh, definitely, 100%. Beyond the text messages, is there any woman that you're worried about in particular? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, he was messing around with my friend's daughters. <laughs> and he always looks for her on Facebook. Always, always, always. That's one person he searches for frequently. He always wants to know where she is. Always wants, always searches for her. I don't know why. I want to know why. Was this... Well, Go ahead, La. We want to know why, too. <laughs> What's your relationship so, with this when I disappeared, He's beautiful. When I disappeared in the five weeks, this was the, was the person in 2015 that I did cheat on with. Oh. And uh, I told you this. No, you did not. I told you before. What else are you hiding? I told you before. <sighs> Okay, so him telling you today is the first time yes, you're hearing this? Yes. How long ago did this happen? 2015. <laughs> How did you end up with her friend's daughter? And why? Like I said, she's a very good looking person. I have given this man everything. You knew about this, Alicia? No, I didn't. The hell if you didn't. Miss Viney, I know that you... I can see that you're heartbroken. I've been this way for a while. I'm sorry to hear that. But my question is, he believes he told you this. Did you ask him, did he sleep with this young lady? I, I said, what is the connection? And he said... And I said, when I found a text message... or a Facebook message on his Facebook... And her's telling him, I'm on my way, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And that was the last interaction I ever saw from her to him. So I said, what did you, she showed up, where, she pick you up, what did you guys do that night? What did you do? She showed up, what happened? He said, we just drove around and partied. He says he loves me, but he doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about how much he's hurt me. He's selfish. Uh, you've put a lot of hurt to Not my heart. Not like you have done to me. Do you know okay. that I made it fact? up. I gave you, you a child. A fact. I gave you a child. Okay, Mr. McCall, do you want this relationship to work? I would like for this to work, yes. Part of this, for both of you, is getting to the truth. And we're getting ready to do that today. To get to the truth, uh, the court is going to call licensed private investigator Eric Eccles. Ron, please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom. Yes, ma'am. How are you? How are you doing, Your Honor? Uh, good to see you, Mr. Eccles. You too, sir. As part of your investigation in this case, you had a member of your team administer a polygraph examination to Mr. McKellop. Is that correct? Yes, sir, it is. All right. Let's go to this question. Yes. Since your son was born, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Miss Viney that she does not know about? What was Mr. McKellop's response? His response, Your Honor, was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. <laughs> okay, so you've heard the answers. What are you feeling? I still feel hurt. Your Honor, I you, have... I go, there's on, days let, I go let, through hell. Let me, let me talk to her. Getting numerous of text messages Ms. from... Viney, he has told you the truth. He has not been with other women. You have got to let it go. Your Honor, I just... There's no moving forward because he refuses to call me, even his girlfriend or a wife. It's and pretty hard, Your Honor, when I'm getting accused daily and... But, but, Mr. Kellogg, you got it. You have to own up to what you did. Correct. You know, you're not an innocent in this. I no. mean, we're talking to Ms. Viney, but we're also talking to you. 
Correct. You have to own up to what you did. Somebody's got to move the ball. And but I'm willing to do that. Because... You're willing to do that? Yes. You are what? Tell her. I'm willing to do that. We have a lot of work to do. I'm willing to forgive you and move forward. All right. This court is going to encourage you all to take advantage of the counseling resources that we have. We want you to make sure that you are prepared to move forward so you all can make this relationship work. Because right. as we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned. This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Hughes versus Hughes. You all are married. You've been together for 15 years. You have two children together. But there's a cloud hanging over your marriage because you believe she's cheating. Mm. Is that right, Mr. Hughes? Yes, sir. Okay, you've opened this case today. Tell us why you brought this case. I opened my case today because I believe my wife has cheated on me. I believe that she... We argue all the time. She uh, posts sexy pictures on, on global media. Of, it's uh, my page. Uh, I can post uh, what I want. Hold on, hold on. My wife showing her goods to the whole world. She's only supposed to be for me. <laughs> and you my, got a problem with it. I have a problem with that. And if Stop she cheated on me, insecure. I want it to be over with. All right, Miss Hughes, you are you you ready to go. So let's hear what you got to say. Why are you all fighting? Because he says you're fighting every day. Well, we fight for a lot of different reasons. One of them, he cannot provide for his family. He cannot keep a job. He's always accusing me of cheating. If you would do what you're supposed to be doing, then there would be no room to accuse me of doing anything. So, what are you here to prove? Because are you I'm saying... here to prove that I'm not cheating. All right. Mr. Now... Hughes, what have been the warning signs for you that Ms. Hughes is cheating? The warning signs are sometimes we be in the bed together. This has happened with me. We've been in the bed and she's texting another guy while we're in How the bed. How can you possibly yeah. see me texting another right? guy in the bed? I mean, you have... Second what? time is... What kind of eyes get do up, you have? Because I check your phone. You think she is or you've seen it? I've seen it. She did it in front of me. She'll hold her phone this way and be texting. Okay. I believe and that in you're the morning, insecure. In the morning... <laughs> That's what I believe. Ms. You're Hughes, insecure. Ms. Oh, come on, Miss Hughes. So, did you submit a copy of that uh, recollected text to us? Yes, ma'am. Let's take a look at that. So, this is your recollection of the text that you saw. It says, I miss you, and did you get the pictures? Yes, ma'am. And that was to another man? Yes, ma'am. All right, Miss Hughes, did you text another man saying, I miss you? Did you get the pictures? I don't recall that. <laughs> Have you sent pictures of yourself to other men? Yes. I, um, I, I'm sorry. If I did, we wasn't together, so I'm well We're within married. my rights. So what? We married? Why was you at Myrtle Beach for two whole days? Miss Hughes. Miss Hughes, I know you think you answered my question, but you did not. I've been doing this a while. Plus, I got three boys. But no, I did not. You have never sent pictures of yourself to other men? Not when we did, well, was together. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of pictures have you sent other men? Um, pictures of, like, selfies, you know? You know? Dress out. <laughs> Well, let's take a look. So, is that a picture that you sent? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> no, no, um, no, I don't. no. That's no. not what I did. No, that's not one of the pictures that I sent. No, that's not a one of those either. No, that's not one of those either. But here's the thing: Do you hear no. what you're saying? Because you're saying not one of those. Mm -hmm. not one of so those. that means that you have sent. I some. have sent pictures before. Were they sexy yes. pictures? Or were they similar to this? I mean, pretty much all my pictures are sexy. You know? Right. Now, what if he sent similar pictures to a woman? The, male, the male equivalent of that. How would you feel about that? You wouldn't care. Mm -mm. You would not care if your husband did that. No. I you're, said. You're better woman than most women. Yeah, I, I know that's you. right. All right. But you are, in your mind, this is inappropriate for your wife. Yes, ma'am. Are there any other warning signs? Yes, ma'am. I had came home from work one day and, uh, the room smelled like sex. It smelled like sex. Kill the violin, and, people! And it smelled like hot heat sex. And Which room? Which room? 
Our bedroom. Your bedroom. Yes, sir. You get home, long day at work, you come Bed home. Bed messed up. And what did you say that when you found out That is a lie. I, I said to her, I said, baby, the room smelled like sex. What's, what's going on in here? She oh, told God, me you're so... she was working out. I guess working out well, smells I like was. sex to me. <laughs> Did this happen? No, that did not happen. Well, did he come home and say the bedroom no, smelled first like of all, sex? He wasn't at work, so well, that's, that's not, neither that... here or there. The and, and my whole house was really... filled with people, so how can I have sex in a house full of people? Lies. All right, Miss Hughes, you that's have not answered a really single question. Yes, yeah, she's a good so, liar. Go is this what she's doing? Is this robe black? Uh, this room is yellow. <laughs> okay, but I'm asking you, is this robe black? Well, the carpet's blue. What I want to know is, is this robe black? Well, what I'm looking at is over there. Okay. <laughs> That's how your answers sound. You are, you're being asked direct questions. <laughs> and you are going all around the moon not answering the question. So I'm going to ask you yes or no questions, and that's all I want. I don't want any other explanation. Did your husband come home and say, our bedroom smells like sex? Yes. What was your response to why the room... Now, this is not a yes or no. Mm -hmm. Why the room smelled like sex? Well, my response was, um, are you crazy? I was working out, okay? I didn't have the AC on. It was a little humid, okay? I was sweaty. So what? But that's the first so thing you think like about sex. when you come home is the fact that I had somebody in our bedroom while everybody's in this house. How crazy bizarre do you have to be? I mean, well, you gotta be a little delusional. That's really far out there. In terms of bizarre, it seems bizarre to me that you're working out with a house full of people. Right. I'm in my room. Hey, I can do that. I'm so in my room. So you got friends that's and lies. guests coming over no, to your house and you cousin, upstairs working no, out cousin, by yourself? No, my cousin stays at the house. My children were in their room doing their homework. I was in my room doing my squats, which is what I always do in my bedroom. So yes. you can get in shape to take the kind of pictures that we looked at? Yes. <laughs> Were you all always this contentious? I mean, have you always been fighting like this? Was there ever a time y'all were happy together? Oh, we. Oh, yeah. I think I... you got your answer. You all have been together 15 years. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Woo. And, th and this yeah. relationship is now utterly Time. on the rocks. Yes, ma'am. Because you believe she's cheating. Yes, ma'am. Tell me why you believe she's cheating now. Now. She told me she was going out with friends one night, mm. and uh, I didn't believe her. So I, I decided to follow her with my friend. And so she went and met up with a guy. Wait, so you're, you're following her, you're following her on foot or in a car? In a car. All right, and where does she stop? She stops at a restaurant. They meet up at a restaurant. What restaurant okay. do we meet and up at? so when you pulled up to the restaurant and you saw that she was getting out going into this restaurant, what did you do? I really kind of, it kind of really, I didn't do nothing. It kind of broke me. You it broke do. me. <laughs> well, I'm looking at you and your eyes are filling up. Just thinking about it. Just telling us the story. Oh, I so love So, he emotionally moment. wrecked you, didn't it? Yes, ma'am. And so, what happened? Did you ever talk to Miss Hughes about it? She came home the next day and she just brushed it off. The next day? The next day. So, she was gone all night? Yes, ma'am. And as far as you know, she was out all night with this man you saw her at at the restaurant. Yes, ma'am. Miss Hughes. Hughes. Yes. <laughs> did you did you spend the night with another man? No, I did not spend the night with another man. Um, Have you I ever did spent go the night out with another man? I did man. go out. Um, no, I haven't. I did go out and I did not come back home because he just had left and went to Myrtle Beach and stayed for two whole days. And I didn't know where he was. He did not call. He didn't leave a note. He didn't leave anything. He did not answer his phone, did not answer his text. So when he came back that Friday, you thought I was gonna stay home Friday night? Wrong. So yes, I was. And so you were mad at him for back. going to Myrtle Beach. So you went out and met another man at a restaurant. No, I didn't meet another man at a didn't restaurant. Didn't come home to the next that's day. That's the part that he put in that's in his delusional mind. He put the other man in there. Because first of all, even if I was to go out and be seen with another man or get out in the car, do you think he would really find me? Okay. Or really oh, so my question, to track my question me, to you, Ms. Hughes, is <laughs> were you involved with another man? Were you, you No, I was not. No, man? I was not. Have you ever been since you've been married? No. It's a lie. Have you, you gone out with other men? Yes, I have. On we dates? wasn't together. Yes. We're married. If you and me are not living I together, I don't owe you anything, head, okay? What... You do it with other women, so you're not... You're other, not you do it with other women. See other women. women. So what, you do it? Monkey see, monkey do? Do you have any other allegations of cheating, Mr. Hughes? Yes, ma'am. 
I was coming out the house, and she had this white boy come and see her. When I come outside, they outside, over there on the side of the house, talking, gee they flirting. I know what he came to do. What man come to see a woman for nothing? So you nothing. believe something's going on with this man? I believe something is there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what's the nature of the relationship with this man? Well, this man only came into play, Miss Cutler, because he is a carpenter. So he fixes things on the house. So the front door, which Chamel broke, needs to be fixed. Do you think I he broke. bothered trying to fix the door? No. So yes, I called the white guy to fix the door. I shouldn't have I to gave call you money him to, fix, to the door. fix the door. No, you Mr. didn't Hughes. give me the money. Stop lying. He was not there to for talk any with other. You. In, for any was other. Was the door reason? broken? No. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So, it's your testimony that you did not have any kind of intimate relationship no, with none. the white guy who was a carpenter? None. None whatsoever. And this hush hush talk that your husband saw was it's just in his, his mind. mind. Like he just made it up. Is. Yes, delusional. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Cutler, there's his side, there's her side, and in this case, it's the white carpenter's side. <laughs> He's here. Yeah, that's All right, that's right. Right. How you doing? Good day, sir. How are you? I'm good. Hey, would you state your name, please, for the court? My name is Michael Arledge. Hey, Mr. Arledge, what is the nature of your relationship with Miss Hughes? We're just friends. We live in the same neighborhood. Like I said, she didn't need her door fixed. That's why she called me. And I went over there to look at the door. And when I went, me and her started talking, and she kind of telling me how they having problems and stuff like that. We just... Chit chatted, we started vibing a little bit, hanging out and stuff. So, do you think when she told you she was having problems with her husband, she opened the door for you? Yeah. And you stepped in? Mm, not like that. I, I, you know, I spaced myself. I got respect, you know, she got stuff going on. And... But you stayed in the door, you didn't leave the door. Right. <laughs> you peeking in the door, you just ain't come in the door. Have you ever gone out with her on what I would consider to be a date? I took her out to dinner one time. Have you all ever gone to the club or partying together? Mm, we we partied together before. Mm. Just one, like, once or twice, or nothing like that. And all this time, you knew she was married? Yeah. She telling me it's over. She That's what she's telling me. You're a liar. So, did you ever no, fix the door? No, it was. No, so the door still ain't fixed. <laughs> the door still broke. The door is open. The door ain't fixed. We got all kinds of doors. I think he was doing some other kind of woodwork. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, did anything happen between you two? I did not ever have any kind of sexual relations with that woman. Okay, that, that sounds very Clinton-esque, but did any kind of physical contact happen between you two? We kissed. We had a little made out. Yeah. Make out uh, we did not. Oh, no, God. we did not. He ain't lying. He tried to kiss me. Oh, okay? stop lying, I didn't kiss him. Let he the man talk. Me. It was mutual. We we kissed each other. Right. Wow. Yeah. We didn't kiss. You each kissed other. her. So she you kissed you back. Yeah. Okay. My wife. I think we've heard enough, Mr. Cutler. What we have here is that. Mr. Hughes claims he's found text messages which he shared with the court on his wife's phone between her and another man. He says that he secretly followed her, saw her go to dinner with another man. She didn't come back to the next day. And then the final thing is that uh, Mr. Arledge came to the house, he says, to fix the door. One night when he dropped her off, they shared a mutual, passionate kiss. That is a lie. He's not lying. That I is a lie. Is it was nothing passionate about the Mr. Hughes. It's not about what is. That is the testimony that we have today. And your husband has said, based on what happens here today, will determine whether or not you stay married. That's what he said. Uh -huh. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. That uh -huh. is what is at stake. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to hear from certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> Ron, please escort Mr. Williams in. Wait. 
Mr. Williams, good day. Good afternoon, Your Honor. You completed a polygraph examination on Mrs. Hughes, is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. You asked Ms. Hughes, during your 15 years married to Mr. Hughes, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your husband? What was her response? Your Honor, she said no. What did the polygraph determine? On this question regarding Mrs. Hughes's fidelity in the last 15 years, oh. She was being deceptive. You asked Ms. Hughes, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Mr. Arledge? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the polygraph determine? On this question, there were significant and notable physiological responses, which indicated to me deception. You wanted to talk? Let's talk. Lie, 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 because that never happened. That polygraph is a lie, because I did not have sex with him. I didn't know right. I did want to have sex with him. Mr. I Williams... Want, I don't want to have sex with him. I want, you to li I want you to listen. Mr. <laughs> Williams, how many polygraph examinations have you conducted over your career? Over 900. When you say that there was a strong physiological response, what happens? What are you looking at? I look at all the indicators of the instrumentation that I had you hooked up to. Mm -hmm. Three of the four have significant responses. That indicates to me that you're being deceptive. Ms. Hughes? Yes. And Mr. Hughes, if you want this marriage to go forward, huh. you all are gonna have to learn to be quiet and listen to each other when the other's talking. Mr. Hughes, you came here for answers. What do you want to do with this relationship? It's over. I'm done, yo. You're done? Yes, sir, I'm done. Well, we need a divorce. That 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 wait, wait a minute. That makes, to me. that makes this conversation very short. We're ordering you to go get the counseling so that you can co-parent effectively. The rest of it, you all will learn by trial and error because you're not going to listen to nobody anyway. So, as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of a happy, healthy, quiet relationship. <laughs> Court is adjourned.